Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you. I am Madhulika Ketri, your host for today at the center stage of Global Thought Leaders, a Right Source Global Initiative. Global Thought Leaders is a podium for leaders to exchange their ideas, experiences and thoughts which help everyone in the community grow together. Today at the center stage, we are in discussion with Ms. Vashali Shah, an executive with over two decades of experience. She is a strategic planner specializing in delivery as well as operations. She has successfully managed stakeholders' expectations while delivering multiple programs. She is currently associated with Capgemini as their director of group IT. So Vashali, I've been through your articles and your profile uh, lately, and it's really been an interesting read so far. Uh, you seem to have worked with cross-functional teams with diverse technical backgrounds across multiple technical domains. What have been some of your most uh, significant challenges in managing such diverse teams and how did you overcome them? Challenges can be faced in, uh, in any team, immaterial of whether it is a regional or a diverse intercultural team. Main, uh, main issues come out of knowing of not knowing the cultural background of, uh, of the resources that you're working with. So it, it is imperative that we pay attention to the small minor uh, greetings that we do in the cultural language, break the ice, uh, get to know more about uh, the differences and the diversity. And that generally helps to bridge the challenges that we see in communication that arise out of not uh, knowing and understanding people. So Vashali, I think not just uh... There is enough experience on uh, diverse technical backgrounds, but I see you have traveled across geographical locations to gain uh, diverse knowledge on uh, geographies as well. So that's really interesting to learn. Uh, and I also see that you're an ITIL uh, certified expert. I'm sure your experience in risk management, compliance and governance has been of extreme value to tackle challenges. So what is your advice to modern organizations to handle governance in this new normal? Given is idea, I'm an ITL expert and uh, how do I bridge my, bring in my risk ma management experience, compliance governance experience to handle the new normal? Uh, COVID has taught us a lot of things and in new normal, what we need right now is a forward looking strategic mindset. Uh, which will help us to establish practices that just don't attract new opportunities, but also help us to Im Im uh, optimize the internal systems that we have in place, right? And uh, this will uh, this will help us to compete in future with all the disruptions that are coming in. So uh, we need to put in uh, compliance checks, cybersecurity, process-driven methodology dedicated SMEs across all areas. And I think this is what is most important in the new normal. Thank you so much, uh, Vishali, for sharing, uh, you know, the uh, challenges that you have handled during the new normal. Uh, while you're here, you know, I would like to ask you uh, about what is your take on uh, the buzzword lately in the IT industry, which is the Industrial Revolution 4.0. So what are the things that you're most excited as an IT leader uh, uh, as the industry is moving towards an industrial revolution 4.0? And what steps have you and your team taken to prepare for the upcoming challenges? Okay, what, what I feel is we cannot use the problem solving methodology uh, that we have been using in the last few years. Uh, instead, we need to optimize our uh, processes, which will integrate and then help us refine all aspects uh, in, in an organization, which help us to merge the digital and the physical reality together, right? So for this, we need to increase more automation, uh, leading to accuracy in, in what we are doing, uh, have more process-driven independent methodologies, uh, leverage... Uh, augmented social reality and make information available anytime, anywhere. Uh, I know this would sound daunting, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, with a proactive, strategic approach, with the right tools, right people, right processes, and a willingness to embrace transformation as a virtue rather than as a necessary evil, we can we can ensure that organizations are well positioned to meet the challenges 
that are coming up uh, in our day to day lives thank you avashali for your insights on uh, the industrial revolution so one of your topics for our leaders book that i was going through was uh, you know importance of communication so while we are here uh, do you want to communicate any, anything to our future aspiring leaders and i would also like you to throw some light on uh, what exactly uh, is the importance of communication communication per se is not just uh, what you say uh, or uh, what you speak but it is also about how you portray so that includes your verbal and non verbal communication aspects as well which is your body language uh, your tone etc communication is the most important tool in the workplace because it not only helps you to boost uh, communicate your ideas thoughts and uh, data that you want to con- convey but it also helps you to boost employee morale uh, engagement productivity right and it is also a key for better team collaboration and cooperation therefore it also will help you bring in uh, better results and uh, drive uh, teams to achieve their goals therefore uh, therefore with this aspect being the key it is it is the most important tool that is needed in the industry and which we need to enhance and uh, better off in the coming years as leaders i think learning has been uh, you know uh, as a part of a schedule for me personally to keep myself uh, uh, growing uh, every uh, day so what do you think is the importance of uh, learning and what advice do you want to give the uh, millennials who are aspiring to be the future leaders for me uh, learning experiences are like journeys the journeys uh, journey starts where the learning begins and ends uh, when the learner is more successful to uh, to highlight this i would uh, like to bring in the quote by nelson mandela education is the most powerful weapon with which you can change the world right for millennials it's a different thing to engage a millennial millennial is very difficult and for that uh, the reason being that they very social media oriented therefore learning platforms to engage a millennial will have to be in and around that including gamification which will then become an effective tool and the learning methodologies will have to be achievement oriented because that's the only way you can uh, engage in millennial therefore you will have to keep bite sized modules make it more agile and flexible have it goal oriented and challenging to keep them uh, engaged uh, basically with the generational shift that is coming into the workforce uh, we need to be more innovative and improve the way we learn thank you vishali that was really uh, great of you to talk about learning uh, being a part of your uh, schedule as well and i'm sure uh, we identified that uh, when you actually registered yourself for for uh, certifying yourself as an independent director uh, through the independent directors institute program by rsg thank you so much we would like to hear your thoughts as a corporate governance expert on how this knowledge will help you and others like you deal with the board level challenges in future boards continue to struggle or fail is generally due to inadequate time or misspent time or in or lack of information or improper skill sets that exist right therefore effective corporate governance requires dedicated focus with a shared goal of building long term value for the organization board members therefore should equip themselves with a broad understanding of the organization's mission value and the potential threats that it would face not only from its com- competitors but also from the uh, country uh, country therefore it is imperative to plan and align the organization's mission with the risk that they they can face therefore the following actions come to mind uh, importantly it is the guiding the business communication balancing of risk and opportunity processes to be uh, put in place uh, to follow the board duties compliance checks to be enabled at each and every uh, points within these processes and managing the stakeholder activism uh this to me are important 
Thank you, Vishali. I think it was a wonderful discussion, and your insights have actually helped us in understanding, uh, you know, your experiences and how we could also, uh, you know, tackle uh, certain things uh, going forward. Thank you so much for your time. We at uh, Global Thought Leaders, Independent Directors Institute, and Right Source Global, thank you for uh, giving your time uh, for at this center stage interview. Thank you all. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank you all for having me on this uh, session and appreciate it. Thank you for your time. And thank, thank you all for watching this video. If you want to know more about uh, the Independent Directors Program and Global Thought Leaders and Right Source Global, please visit us at independentdirectorsinstitute.com and rightsource-global.com. Thank you so much and have a great time.